I want to return to authenticity with a new clear dome, but removing the old one is a challenge. There's no manual or online advice to help me. Ed China, the beloved mechanic and co-host of the popular car restoration show, has always been a loved figure for automotive enthusiasts. With his signature blue jumpsuit and quirky charm, Ed endeared himself to audiences worldwide as he tackled countless automotive challenges on the show. Beyond his on-screen persona, his passion for all things automotive has not only made him a household name, but also a wealthy individual in the world of car enthusiasts. So, let's find out how rich Ed China is from Wheeler Dealers. Okay, it's one of the cheap ones and there's a lot of noise coming from the engine, but I'm pretty confident that's coming from the blow in the exhaust manifold, which should be a relatively easy job to fix. Edward John China, born on May the 9th, 1971 in England, is a prominent television personality, mechanic, motor specialist, and inventor. His claim to fame lies in his role as a presenter and a mechanic on the popular Discovery Channel show Wheeler Dealers. However, his television career is marked by diverse appearances on shows like Top Gear, Auto Trader, Scrap Heap Challenge, and Fifth Gear, showcasing his expertise in all things automotive. Ed's passion for cars and mechanics blossomed early in life. He received his education at King Edward School, Whitley and Surrey, and later pursued a degree in engineering product design from London South Bank University. It was during his university years that Ed embarked on his first major project, the creation of the Casual Loafer, also known as Driving Sofa, which was built to raise funds for a Rayleigh International Expedition to Belize. Ed's television career kicked off with a bang following the success of the Casual Loafer project. In 1994, he landed his first television job as a specialized effects technician for the acclaimed series Father Ted. His innovative approach to vehicle design caught the attention of audiences, leading to a guest appearance on Top Gear Live in 1998, where he drove the casual loafer at the Silverstone Live Arena. The same year, Ed's ingenuity was featured on Jeremy Clarkson's DVD, the most outrageous Jeremy Clarkson video in the world ever. The casual loafer was raced at the Thruxton Circus in a manner reminiscent of wacky races, captivating audiences with its unique design. Ed made three appearances on Channel 4's The Big Breakfast, showcasing different vehicles he'd created, including the Casual Loafer, Bog Standard, and Street Sleeper. Ed's talents were further highlighted on Scrap Heap Challenge, known as Junkyard Wars in the United States, where he featured in an episode showcasing driving beds and sofa cars. He also made a memorable appearance on This Is Your Life, driving madness frontman Suggs around old haunts in the Casual Loafer. Then, in 2005, Ed participated as a celebrity guest on BBC's Ready Steady Cook, appearing in a Children in Need special. He also co-hosted the short-lived Auto Trader television series alongside Brewer, which was aired on the Discovery Channel. Ed's diverse television appearances continued in 2007, when he guest starred on The Culture Show, being interviewed and chauffeuring Arthur Smith and other performers around Edinburgh Festival. One of Ed's notable projects was the television miniseries Classic Car Club for Discovery Channel. Alongside Penny Malaroy, Tony Mason, and Alex Riley, he delved into the history and culture of classic cars, catering to enthusiasts of vintage automobiles. The series premiered in 2005, showcasing Ed's deep-rooted passion and expertise in classic car culture. In 2003, Discovery Channel enlisted Edward to team up with television presenter Mike Brewer with a specific mission to create a new car program called Wheeler Dealers. The show quickly became the most renowned work of both Ed and Brewer's careers as they co-hosted for an impressive 13 series spanning from 2003 to 2017. However, their partnership came to an unexpected end. On March the 21st, 2017, he took to his YouTube channel to announce his departure from Wheeler Dealers, citing disagreements over the show's direction as the reason. Just six days later, he shared another video, shedding light on the circumstances surrounding his exit. He revealed that Brewer had contacted him over the weekend, expressing concerns about the intense online hate he, his wife and his daughter were enduring, all stemming from Ed's decision to leave the show. After achieving success as a special effects technician on the comedy TV series Father Says, Ed launched Comfy Banana Limited in March 1999. This venture served as a platform for his unique and innovative creations. His remarkable vehicles caught the attention of ITV, leading to an interview about Comfy Banana's creations on the show Pulling Power in 2001. 
His reputation continued to grow, and in 2006, he was featured on ITV's This Morning, discussing his inventive vehicles. In 2009, he expanded his entrepreneurial pursuits by founding Grease Junkie Limited, where he served as the managing director. The company, which sells merchandise related to Wheeler Dealers and Grease Junkie, further solidified his status as a creative and business-savvy individual. Additionally, he owned an MOT and servicing garage named Grease Junkie in Bracknell, Berkshire, which unfortunately had to be voluntarily liquidated in August 2016. Ed's influence extended into the digital realm as well. On May 1, 2018, he premiered a new series, Ed China's Garage Revival, on his YouTube channel. This platform showcased his post-wheeler dealer's endeavors and featured a series called Ask Ed, where he responded to fans' questions. In April 2021, Ed China's Workshop Diaries debuted on his personal YouTube channel. This series provided viewers with a glimpse into his personal workshop and various projects he was working on, further establishing him as a prominent figure in the automotive world. Ed's pension for breaking records is also well documented. He holds several Guinness World Records, including the fastest toilet, bed, milk float, and the largest motorized shopping trolley. His record-breaking feats were featured on programs like Fifth Gear, Pulling Power, and This Morning, showcasing his ingenuity and creativity. One of his most notable record attempts involved converting a milk float into a drag racer in collaboration with BTCC driver Tom Onslow Cole. This project, sponsored by eBay, resulted in the world's fastest milk float, earning him yet another Guinness World Record in 2012. Med's career is a testament to his passion for innovation and creativity in the automotive world. His entrepreneurial ventures, record-breaking achievements, and engaging online presence have solidified his status as a prominent figure in the industry and has allowed him to live a luxurious life that is the dream of many. Ed China is a man of many talents and accomplishments, and his net worth, estimated at $3 million, is a testament to his diverse skills and achievements. One of the major contributors to Ed China's wealth is his work as the co-host of Wheeler Dealers. The show has garnered a massive following and has undoubtedly played a significant role in boosting Ed's net worth. Following his departure from Wheeler Dealers, Ed's own YouTube channel, which has quickly amassed nearly 1 million subscribers and an impressive 50 million views. Earnings from his YouTube videos, combined with revenue from merchandising such as t-shirts, mugs, and hats sold on his online shop, Edgear, have further contributed to his wealth. Ed's immense popularity and fan base worldwide suggests that his merchandise sales are substantial, both online and offline, further enhancing his net worth. While details about Ed China's home are not publicly available, given his net worth of $3 million, one can imagine that he and his wife reside in a magnificent and luxurious house or bungalow, befitting their status. Ed China's passion for cars is evident in his impressive collection, which includes a V8 Range Rover L322, a 1914 C8 Cadillac, and a unique creation of his own, the Ed China Toilet. One of his most famous creations is the Casual Loafer, also known as the Fastest Sofa Car, which showcases his ingenuity and engineering skills. Among his other notable creations are the world's fastest office car, the motorized bathroom, and the suite known as the Bathtub Car. He also owns the motorized shopping trolley, which is the largest shopping cart, and the Shed and Bed Car, also known as the Furniture. These innovative and quirky vehicles not only demonstrate Ed's creativity, but also add to the uniqueness of his car collection. Ed China's impressive career, coupled with his entrepreneurial endeavors and creative projects, has solidified his status as a multi-talented individual with a diverse range of interests. His wealth is a testament to his hard work, dedication, and passion for his craft, and it's likely to continue to grow as he explores new opportunities and ventures in the future. Ed China is married to his Norwegian-born wife Imogen. Imogen prefers to keep a low profile, so there is limited information available about her. The couple do not have any children. Despite leaving Wheeler Dealers, Ed continues to engage with his international audience through his own weekly show on YouTube. He provides a glimpse into his workspace, connecting with viewers from the UK, continental Europe, America, Asia, and beyond. Ed has inspired a new generation of mechanics and DIY enthusiasts. His commitment to quality and attention to detail have solidified his place as a respected figure in the automotive industry.